Welcome back to my channel, everyone. This is Donnie, and you're watching Diamond Painting by Donnie. Today's video is basically all about diamond dots, and this is going to be a two-parter. The first video here, I'm going to unbox a haul of diamond dots that I just per recently purchased, and the second video is going to be all about showing you the new diamond dots freestyle that they've just come out with. So stick around, check out what I got, and the next video will be available pretty soon after this one goes up. So here we go. I let Tesla pick one out because recently they started doing the beginner kits, including frames. And only way I knew about this is because somebody had sent a gift to me of two of those beginner kits in frames. And I thought that was totally neat. I had no idea that the painting that she did those um, came with the frames, but as I went to Joann's, I saw that they have these kits now that have the frames with them. So that's super neat because trying to frame these is not the easiest thing to do when they are super tiny and they really don't make frames that small. If they do, it's hard to find. But we did our own frame job for the beginner kit that Teslin did. And if you want to see how we did that, I do believe I have a video um, here on my channel. If I do, I will link it right up here in the corner. So look for that little eye that pops up and you can click on that and find that video where we framed one of these kits. Because some of them that they sell still, they sell them without the, the frame. And I, I believe they're a little less expensive. Um, it's nice that Joann's is actually selling them in store now. Before, you could only get them online. Um, our kit that we got um, in the video that I just linked up there, we actually got it from a boutique shop um, craft store here in town. Well, actually, not in my town, but the town next door that's bigger. And I think we paid like six dollars for it and I think they're like four or five dollars six some somewhere in that range at at Michael's online and you don't see them in the store very often though but I have some pictures right here I will show you um, where they actually had quite a few different ones the first I went to two Joann's the first store didn't have very much um, and the second one they were actually closing in three minutes even though the other store told us we had an hour so we were rushed and I didn't get to take all the pictures I wanted to but here's a kind of an example of the different um, beginner kits that they have um, at the first Joann's I went to So what I was trying to do is, oh yeah, my receipt. I wanted to tell you how much I paid because I forgot. Uh, let's see. No, that's from the second store. Okay, this one, I don't know why. I only, I don't have the receipt. I, I'm missing half the receipts because Jim went with me. He purchased and I purchased so we both could use coupons. But anyway, I think this was $10.99. I could be wrong. I don't remember. It was maybe $7.99. Um, I'll put up on the screen here how much it was because I'll double check the website and tell you. So just see what numbers are on the screen right here. And that's the price that we paid for it minus a coupon. I think we used a coupon on this. Yes, we did. Or maybe not. I don't remember. But I tried to use a 50% off coupon on everything that we purchased um, at Joann's. This was on Friday. Today is Monday, so it wasn't that long ago. I've had a lot of videos to record or else I would have had this one up right away. I was so excited about it. So here's the kit that comes with these. It's awesome that they send a full kit with these tiny diamond paintings because they're only four inches, four inches by four inches. And for you to get a full kit, that's really cool. I actually like these gray trays because the spacing in them are perfect. So you get a tray, you get a squishy, and I got a green one this time, and then you get your little container of pink diamond dot wax, and they actually make it where there's a covering on both sides so it's not sitting in there 
festering and boiling. I don't know what it does if it's just sitting there without the covering, but they provide it to you with the coverings on it. So make sure you pull off the cover on both sides. If you want to use this container for your wax, make sure those come off first or they're not going to do you any good. The wax won't do you any good if the coverings on it. I mean, you could use it. It would just be a lot harder. And then they give you a few baggies. Let's see. They've given me three, four, five, quite a bit. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we have ten baggies, which they're very thin. I don't recommend using them because it's really easy to rip these when you're opening and closing them a lot. I don't use them myself. Um, and then they have this drill pen with the sparklies, clear metal, uh, the copper brass tip, copper, not copper, but brass tip that comes on all of the pink pins that we see. So that is the toolkit. Comes in a nice baggie that I will reuse. And it comes with the very large instruction manual that they are known for sending with all their diamond paintings. It comes in, I think, uh, see there's five, 10 different languages, I believe. Yep, 10 different languages, tells you how to diamond paint, very um, detailed, what to do, how to do it, because a lot of people, for a lot of people, diamond dots are their very first diamond art kit that they purchase and try out because they are available in stores. So that's the instructions. Here is the canvas. As you can see, it is very tiny. It says four inch by four inch, and that is the design area. And this one's cute. It's nice and bright. I love these colors. Teslin chose the perfect one. It only has seven colors, so they gave me more bags than were needed. Uh, one of those colors is a special gem, as you can see by this very large spot right there. And it has it down here. It tells you that it is a little different by separating it from the others. And as you can see from the picture, that is a cute little gem. So it also tells you on all Diamond Dots paintings, it shows you at the bottom, the area that is drilled and what it looks like, what the image looks like completely. And then this is the image of the area that is actually where you put diamonds on. And they also give you the, the size of the um, design area and the fabric size. So it's uh, almost six inches um, squared and the image itself is about four inches squared. So there's that. And then here is the cute little frame that it comes with. Of course, it doesn't have any covering over the image. So if you want to seal your in your diamond painting after it's done you can still do so because of the fact that it will still be exposed to um, the elements dirt and whatnot but it's a nice sturdy plastic frame which you know I'm impressed by really uh, it's actually got a bit of a different type of a design it's not those uh, cardboard pieces where you have to use the metal thing and use your fingernails and sometimes it's impossible to get open and it has a spot for hanging it too that's awesome so it just looks like it sets in there and these little arms lock into place so these are actually really simple for children to do themselves so they could do the whole thing all by themselves without any help because I know Tesla knows how to diamond paint I just have to shake the tray and stuff for her because that's where she gets a little over anxious. So here are the drills. And I think that's super cool. They gave us an extra one for that special gem. There's two of them in there because I will probably use that other one on somebody's pair of tweezers because um, I use these leftover special drills when I decorate the tweezers for my shop. But it looks like they have, these are all just regular drills. There's no ABs. Um, one way you can tell with Diamond Dots if it's going to be a regular drill or an AB drill is Diamond Dots regular numbers are in the 8,000s. All their regular colors, they use 8,000 numbers. 
and on their AB colors, they use a 5,000 number. And I do have charts in my group. I will give you a link to, um, I'll see if I can put it on my drive so that if you want to just download it without being in the Facebook group, you can get to it. But I have a conversion chart. Um, it is made by the company that makes diamond dots. Um, it's called uh, Needleworks or Needle... Oh, I forgot the name of it already. It's on here somewhere. Uh, Needle Art World. Yeah, and they are the ones that made the chart. And it actually gives you the diamond dot number and what the closest DMC number would be to that number. And that helps out for people who like to save their leftover drills uh, so they know where to put them and, and keep them in order and have backups in case you run out. Because sometimes contacting the store takes a lot longer to get those drills, and we like to be able to keep our own backups. So anyway, 8,000s are regular drills, 5,000s are the AB drills, and they do have some like glow-in-the-dark and metallics and others, but... Um, I think that I don't think those numbers are on that chart, but anyway, go check it out. Here's the link down below in the description box where you can find it. Um, they all, there is also a list available that has all of the diamond dots colors and what their numbers are, the numbers and the appropriate color that has been named by diamond dots to that number. So I can link that down below as well. All right. So this was the first thing I purchased. And Teslin really wanted, um, she chose some stickers as well, but she found something else in the store she wanted more. So, uh, I had, I told her you have to put one of these back and I told her you're not putting the mermaid back because <laughs> I didn't want her to put the mermaid back. Because if she's not going to do it, I'll do it. It's super cute. I like it. And I'm going to put all this stuff away and set it aside and I'll be right back. Right. So this next, these next things I have to show you are all new diamond dots. Um, I saw them online and it showed that my first store that I was going to had them all in stock, but I was very disappointed with the very first store I went to because of the fact they didn't have a lot of the stuff out on the shelves. When I asked them about the fact that it says that they're in stock for in-store pickup, they said, oh, it's buried in the back in a box and we can't find it. So check back in a couple weeks. I was like, uh, no. So I went to the other store, but that first store told me they closed at 10 o'clock. So we went and had dinner and we got to the store at three minutes before nine. And they're like, we close in three minutes. And when I told them what I was doing, what I needed, they're like, oh, we were quick, but still we were there 15 minutes and I was able to get the ones that um, I wanted. I didn't get them all. There's still some I wanted, but you know, I'll have to check back later and I'll get those as well. Um, Diamond Dots is stepping up their game. Um, they have added, I've noticed over the last year, they've added a lot of new designs, but this takes the cake. Okay. Wait till you see what I've got. Okay. The first store I went to, I picked this one up. It is called Crystal Skull and, um, this was, a, they had a lot of these out. So this is their old design. This is their, the design box that you would see normally in the store from the past couple of years. That's the kind of box you see, right? And this is actually a, okay, it is a partial. Um, I will put up an image of it right here. And that way you can get kind of an idea of what it looks like in full view because, you know, it's kind of hard for me to get this whole box in the camera. I could do it this way. So this is the design area. This is the whole thing. Um, and that shows you that here on this side. And then on the other side, it shows you the drilling area. So it is just the skull, but it looks to be like most of this is going to be made of AB, AB drills. It, that's what it appears to be. It might just have a bunch of ABs mixed in, but we'll see here in just a second. Um, let's see. All the information's on the canvas, so I'll tell you all that information when I get to it. 
Um, let me get the scissors. It does did say, I do have the receipt for this one. I used the 50% off coupon. So this is normally $39.99 and I paid $20 for it. And I highly suggest that if you're going to get diamond paintings from Joann's, Michael's, Hobby Lobby, use a coupon. Buy one at a time, take someone with you. Because like Hobby Lobby, there's only one coupon that I know of. They only have one coupon, but it's always available. It's 40% off. And it is, if you're going to buy more than one diamond painting, take a second person with you so they can use it as well because that's a lot of money to spend on you know forty dollars for a diamond painting it's diamond dots brand so you know you're going to pay a little bit more but being able to sp get 50 percent off and only spend twenty dollars on this that is you know i'd rather do that so let's show you the toolkit which is inside the drills Um, on this one, it's the same exact toolkit that came with the miniature, the mini one. That's why I was so impressed that they put the same exact stuff on the beginner kits. Um, uh, because if you go to buy, you can buy these kits and it's like $5.99 to just buy a kit. I think you get two of everything, but still you spend about that same price on one of those kits without the frame for the beginner kits. So that's why it was surprising that they include the entire full kit. Full kit. All right. Um, we'll look at these drills in a minute because I want to look at the canvas first. That's how I do things. That's how I roll. My kids would be like, oh, no, mom. No. <laughs> that is not something that should come out your mouth. So Diamond Dots puts theirs in their bag with their signature uh, saying on here, add some sparkle to your world with the Diamond Dots logo. And the canvas, I don't know what the material is, but it's not like your typical um, Chinese uh, canvas. This is very thick. The edges are surged and it they're, they're nice canvases. Okay, so they have their instructions tucked away inside, all curled up. Same as the one that was in that first kit. All right, so we have a total of 10 colors. Amazingly, there's 10 different colors. And number one is a special shape. Uh, number one on here, but that's the ninth color on the serial grid. Serial number, key. But they're all grays and whites and blacks, so... These two are your special drills. And as you can see, the number for the special drills, they have their own numbering system, and it's pretty interesting. They have 9M110 and then 9M231. And if you look here, what I was saying on that first one about the 8,000s and 5,000s, numbers 1 through 6 are going to be regular drills, and number 7 and 8 are going to be the ABs. So I am, I am actually excited to do this, even though it's not going to be color blocked because that's very competitive. The, the AB drills are scattered throughout here, uh, because it's the, the little dot in the center and the slash. So you find them, it's mixed all in. I couldn't just point them out because they're everywhere. They're throughout here mixed in with the other colors. Um, Okay, what other color are they mixed with? It looks like they're just mixed in with uh, 8440. And, yeah, okay, so it's just these three colors, number 6, 7, and 8, that make up the skull colors. Uh, the All these other colors for the eyes and the nose and the shadow of these gems here, those are going to be all these first uh, five colors that you see up at the top here. I'll just give you a quick peek of the key there. So ones through five are the darker areas and then six, seven, eight are the white areas. Nine and 10 are those special drills. And you can see it's very detailed and it's quite elongated. I wasn't thinking it was going to be so, this guy's got a, this person's had a narrow, long, narrow face because look at that. 
and, it, and like I said, it's a partial. So this entire area out here, all this black is not drilled. There's no sticky on it whatsoever. So there's this one. And I just wish I had, I could speed diamond paint because I really want to do this one. In fact, I want this one done by Halloween of this year. I'm wondering if these are going to be glow in the dark. Let's look at those. Look, let's look at those diamonds right now. I wanted to make this video kind of quick because I've got a lot of diamond paintings to show you. Uh, wow, look at that. Look at that gem that goes in this head, forehead. See if I can move it around so you can see it. Look at how big that is. That is not going to fit into any container that I have. Um, maybe if I use this, my Craftmates lockables. That's huge. And those are those... No, so those aren't glow-in-the-dark because they're actual... Why was I thinking they are glow-in-the-dark? But look at that. Look at how they shine. Let's see if I can bring them down here where there's some extra light. Those are really pretty. So, one, two, three, four, and five... Um, uh, what's that? Did you say one through five? Yeah, one through five are these colors. So there's lots of grays and a little bit of black, but that's not even black. Actually, there is no black at all. Though it's just all grays. Those are all different gray colors. Okay, so six, seven, and eight. There's a lot because it is. Um, the main part of the skull and okay these are six and okay I see six are these two bags and then seven there's two full bags of this AB color it's kind of a off-white or an antique white AB color really pretty and then number eight is the 5001 which looks like it might be B5200. So I, I, I could be wrong. I don't know by heart. But I do have that chart. And if you're curious or if you need that to be able to put your drills away, you can um, get it from the link down below. So there is this kit. This was my, the one I was the most excited about. I picked out um, one other for myself, but it was at the other store. So this was the only one I bought for myself at the first store. Jim picked out another one from the first store and I'll show you that one next because all these other ones are that I'm going to show. They are they finish crinkling. They're going to be similar to the Disney where they're licensed. Uh, so, well, they're actually, let's see. Okay, they're not all Disney brand. In fact, they don't say Disney on them, but they are subsidiary. Disney owns some of them, but they are apparently getting licenses for these certain images so that they can put them in the shop and mark the price up. I don't know if they really mark the price up, but sometimes they do cost a little bit more than just your regular diamond dots like this one. So the one I picked out, well, I'll show you the one Jim picked out actually. Yep. There's only one and believe it or not, they have Harry Potter. They have Harry Potter diamond paintings. The, now, the one that I saw online that I wanted wasn't out on the shelf, but there were the Gryffindor seal, they had the Slytherin seal, and then they had a, a one that was a, had showed Harry Potter with a wand, and um, it was just too cartoony for me, so I didn't pick it for myself, and I asked Jim if he'd want to do one of these, and I was thinking he'd want to do that one with Harry Potter in it. He picked Slytherin because it's green, and that's his favorite color. So, <laughs> and that's what he picked, and he chose these to do for himself, not for me to do for him. And 
he actually has one picked out that he wants to me to kit up as soon as I'm done showing you. So total, he has actually got four diamond paintings he picked out. I am actually in total shock about that. And I forgot to tell you the size of that skull. Um, it's on the canvas, but I totally forgot to look. It is a... The fabric size is 50 by 68, but the design area is 42 by 60. So that's still pretty big, 42 by 60. Uh, and the box on these, I like about Diamond Dots, it tells you how many colors. It does say 10, and the total amount of Diamond Dots in the whole kit is 15,576. So I like all the information that they give on the outside of their boxes. All right, so here is the canvas for the Slytherin. And here's the drill. And I'm not sure how much this was because Jim took this one up to pay for and I did not get the receipt for it. So I will check it online to see. And I will put the price up right here on the screen somewhere. I think my camera must be crooked. So yeah, it'll be there somewhere. It'll tell you the um, price before coupon. Make sure you use one of their 50% off coupons because they have seem to have them all the time. If you're in store, it does say that in store they do take competitor coupons. So if you like, I don't have an AC more here, but I use their coupons all the time. I, I use them at Michael's. Um, now that Joanne's taking competitor coupons, I'll use one there if they happen to have one. But sometimes they have a 55% off coupon. 60% is the highest I've ever seen for a coupon. And those would be ideal to use. But they're they're hard to find because they're not always available. They're, I mean, they're not available very often. Okay, so here is the same kit. This one came with a green squishy. Everything else is the same. And let's look at the canvas. Okay, so here it does say Slither and Crest. It shows the diamond area is just the crest itself, not the background. So the background is not drilled. If I forgot to put an image up of this, which I thought I said I did, if not, I'll put it up right here real quick. Um, it does tell you this one's a 40 by 50. Um, for the design area, the fabric itself is 48 by 58. And it does say Harry Potter characters, names, and related indica are uh, in, in indicia are copyright at TM Warner Brothers Entertainment Incorporated S20. And looky here, it's got your chart. This only has six colors, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And this is a little interesting. This is called, they actually have something on here called Camelot Dots. Never heard of that before. I don't know what that means. Uh, powered by Diamond Dots. So it might be like Leisure Arts is powered by Diamond Dots. So this might be Camelot Dots. Because, let's see the box. Um, it says Wizarding World Diamond Painting Kit. Uh colorful details quick and easy just like the diamond dots stylist okay it says diamond, but it says camelot dots on here it just doesn't say anything about what brand it is so i'm guessing these kind are um technically camelot dots but just still a diamond dots company but that's interesting i did not realize that because it doesn't say anything but harry potter on here and it was over with all the other diamond dot stuff. So anyway, here is the instruction. Wow. This one seems to be a lot thicker, but nope, it's the same one. And it says diamond dots. It's got all the diamond dot stuff on it. Like the other ones, someone got a little crazy with rolling this one up, but that's okay. No damage done. It wasn't even on any of the glue, but this is poured glue. So you're not going to get bubbles and puckers like you do on that double-sided adhesive that we all love so much. And yes, that was dripping with sarcasm. So seven colors and it, 
appears that, okay, 5001 is going to be an AB color. So that's number six, the plus sign. And where is that found? Try, it's a white background with a plus in the middle. Trying to see if I can figure out where the AB is going to be. White background with a plus. All the white background I can see has a slash, and that's um, a regular DMC. Okay, so here is where our our AB is going to be in this coat, this um, armor. It's just uh, it's just a little bit. There's not a ton, but you can see where the plus symbol is. Those will be AB AB gems. Also, there is one that's a seven thousand number, and I'm not quite sure what that is. Um, we'll probably see it might be a rhinestone but it is the green tri half triangle in the snake here so whatever it is it's going to be that so let's look at the drills real quick and so here are all our regular colors just a tiny bit of red to do the spots on the tongue and the eyeball and then the other colors all this green is for this part yeah, it's one of their metallic, it's a, a metallic color. Um, this is the AB, but the 7,000 number, let's see, show you from the back. You can see it's in their line of metallics. It's a silvery, it's kind of like a rhinestone, but it, it more like it has a, a black background with a silvery top. So it's not... It's made differently than a regular rhinestone, but they refer to them as metallics. So those will be throughout the snake here. Interesting. That's what I'm saying. They have changed. They have added a lot of stuff. Plus they have changed things to where they have more designs. They used to have just like 10 different designs and that was it. And now they have, oh my gosh, they have so much that if you're a collector, it's going to be almost impossible to collect every single one of their diamond paintings. Now, if you're wondering how I know about the metallics, find that out in the next video um, that I do on the freestyle. Because there's some information on there you might want to see. And I'm super excited. I haven't filmed it yet, but I'm filming it as soon as I'm done with this one. And I'm super excited to do it so I can show you all about it. Be right back. All right. So I looked at the other boxes of the ones I have to show and the next four are Camelot dots and three of them are actually Disney owned. And one of them is owned by um, technically AT&T. Jim keeps track of all this stuff because he's a big comic book nerd. And so this one, um, is Batman. And I will show you a larger image of it if I can find it. But this one is a 47 by 57 design area. Um, and the diamond area that we do on this is going to be this right here. So DC is the only one that's not owned by Disney. Um, and you can see here it says Camelot Dots on the back. But yeah, licensed. Let's look at it. This one's the bigger one. Uh, the other ones are smaller. But this one was normally $40 and we used 50% off coupon. So it was $20. This is one of the ones that I paid for in my line. So I have the receipt. All right, so the kit is the same. I'm not going to pull it out until I actually get to showing the drills. We'll look at those in a minute. Let's look at the canvas. I'm trying to make these short videos shorter so that I can do that other video, but there's just so much detail I want to show that uh, it's impossible to make them smaller. Jim is saying it ruins my algorithm when I make longer videos, but I don't know. 
I don't know how to fix that because I'm all about the detail. Okay, so we got it upside down. First thing you see is Camelot dots up here in the corner and then diamond dots. The one thing they do on these Camelot dots that I noticed is they put their grid sideways. So it's actually right here that we'd be looking at it. There are nine colors in this one. Uh, two of them are AB and the rest are regular drills. Looks like a yellow, black, cream, blue, gray, a light blue, a white, a yellow, and an AB white. Um, so the background is blue. Looks like there's something on this one. Don't want it to get into the sticky, but I don't know if that's a flaw in the actual canvas or what, but it looks like a something got run, it got ran across the machine or something right there. It's not that big of a deal, but this is one Jim picked out. This is one he's going to do. They are partials, so, you know, for being someone who's just starting out in diamond painting, it won't be too bad for him. This bat looks a little creepy to me. A <laughs> face up there. Uh, let's see. The AB colors. Okay, this is what's weird. They show this chart with the numbers sideways and the wording sideways, but the symbols are this direction. So to read the symbols, it's going to be up and down, which makes sense, but why they put them sideways, I don't know. So the AB yellow is going to outline this entire area of yellow here. It's the in part, inner part of his um, symbol on his chest. And it goes all the way around the words Batman and the insides. Those are all going to be AB. In addition to the white, which is... down here in this gargoyle. So all these up symbols. I know I didn't show you the drill field on these, but uh, I really, I've never had an issue with diamond dots and seeing their drill field. It's always been super clear. So yeah, my camera is crooked at me. There. Now I'm straight. Uh, yeah, so there's not a lot of the white AB, but this actually looks really good. I mean, it looks like, to me, it looks like a mixture between old Batman and new Batman because new Batman doesn't have the blue. He wears all like black. Um, but this does not look like Adam West. It looks like the original Batman's outfit, the colors, but new Batman is like all black, you know, Ben Affleck, Batman, but there's a lot to actually drill on this one. There is not a lot of background that is not drilled, but all of this blue here going around does not get drilled. There's this little area here and here, there and there. And then the city background city stuff right here is not drilled over here too. And here, I could just show you this. There's the comparison between the image and what part is drilled. So, and this does say the uh, copyright TM and trademark DC Comics S20, whatever that means. Maybe that means 2020? I don't know. But it was on the other one too. And Okay, design area is 47 by 57. Fabric size is 55 by 65. So I like how they give you all that information so that you can get a frame or do whatever it is you need to plan to do a large-ish diamond painting. But this is pretty big. But this was one that Jim picked out. And I'm not going to pull these drills out this time. But let's see. I'm trying to find, okay, you can see the two AB colors right there. So there's the white and there's the yellow. All right, so I will be right back and we will get 
to one of the other ones. All right, this next one I'm going to show you is the one that Jim actually wants to do first. So this is the one he's asked me to kit up for him. Um, this is also a Camelot Dots. And it's owned by Disney. But um, it is Marvel. So here is the image of this one. And it also looks like these, I don't know, Captain America, I'm not too familiar with what he used to look like and what he looks like now. Um, he's not really a person I was familiar with too much until I met Jim because I've learned a lot about these, you know, comic book stuff what's DC, what's Marvel. I learned all that stuff since I've been with Jim. So, it says Cap in Action is the name of it. And let's look at the canvas. I don't like to peek at what's AB until after. I'll look at the canvas. Um, this is upside down. So here we go. I like this one. It's really colorful. I love that background. It's not just a plain black background, so it's it's got quite a bit to do on this one. And the others had just, you know, nine colors. This has 28. And it's got one of the metallics and one AB. So the plus sign is going to be um, your AB, and that's here in the star, up in his hat or his helmet. And it looks like it's a white color. And we've got more of it... Um, outlining his abs area a uh, little bit here a bunch of it in his shield the star of his shield is all AB um, it, it is more of a cartoony face but I don't think that really matters on this image because there's there's just very little bit of it and let's see it doesn't look like there's well there's a little bit of AB down here on his knee uh, but for the most part that's it for the AB but the metallic it's it looks like it's a gold because it's gonna be these these spots right here um, outlining his uh, it looks like it's his shoulder yeah that's his shoulders so it's basically just here where his shoulders are his belt um, just the belt buckle part right there and the fist has a few of them that up arrow there and over here on his arm and not there but yeah just his arm his fist this part and the belt but look at those symbols and look at how confetti that is he is taking on a challenge for his very first um, full-on diamond painting. Because the one that he actually has done, worked on, was one that I started. And I it was my it's my car project. He picked it up and he was bored at the bazaar. So he started working on that. And down here, there's a lot of confetti. But it, it's a really tiny, like, 10 by 15. But this is round. These are round, so I think it's good for him to start out with rounds because starting out with squares is kind of temperamental. Um, he's not an OCD freak like myself, but uh, my very first one was a square. I still enjoyed it. So this one has a fabric size of 50 by 61, but the image itself is a 42 by 53. It does say copyright Marvel. I don't know if you all know, but Marvel is owned by Disney. A lot of things are owned by Disney that we don't know about. Um, well, we know because Jim keeps track of all that. And here is the image with the background compared to the drilling area. There's a lot to drill on this. Um, Batman had probably even more. And that was a larger image, but like I said, this is very confetti. And... This one was, I'm guessing, the same price as the other one that's the same size as this because this is one that he bought. Um, I think these are $25 for 
full price. So the one that I bought that was a similar size cost twelve fifty with fifty percent off coupon. So that is actually a really good price. Twelve fifty for something like this. And I think it's because I don't know why it's such a lower price. It might be because it's the Camelot Dots brand, um, uh, off off brand, uh, not uh, off brand, but subsidiary. But you would think with these name brands that they would be more. So I'm really impressed. I'm not going to guarantee that that's what this is. But the other one that I have that I chose for myself was twenty five dollars regular price, and I got it for twelve fifty. So. Um, I will actually, like I said, look it up and I will tell you the price of the actual price of this one right here. And we did get it 50% off. So whatever it was that I show on the screen, it'll be half that price as to what we paid for it because we use coupons. But this one is the first one of the Camelot dots that I see where they have the symbols right side. I mean the serial number and the DD number right side up, probably because there was a lot more to it. And they, you know, we're gonna not wanting to go all the way down the side to put all the numbers on. But again, they have the same chart over here on the bottom right. So let me look. Yeah, you can see the gold right in there. That's the gold metallic that's gonna be on his belt and the outlining areas of his arms. And the other one is the white, white AB color. You can see it in there, barely. Yeah, yeah kind of hard to see, but it is, it's the white. Same white that we showed in the other package. So let me pull up the last one that Jim chose, his fourth one. And then I'll show you mine that I chose for myself. And then I can go on to do the next video. So I'll be right back. I did forget to mention that um, these ones from Marvel, there there's quite a few different ones. Um, and on the top here, it actually shows some of the pictures. So I know there's a Thor one, but because it's a cartoon one, it's not, you know, um, the actor that plays it. I probably would never be interested in it myself. Um, I'm guessing they have a Hulk, an Iron Man, and Ant-Man, that looks like. I might actually like the Iron Man one because I do like that character and because you can't actually see the face and know that it's not the actor in there, I would probably like that and Hulk. I, I think that Hulk really represents the one that um, they made the movies out of really well. Or I should say the movies made a very sim similar image of the one that was in the cartoon, the comics. But yeah, so those are just some of them. I actually have another one. The next one I'm going to show you is the last one that Jim chose, and it's another Marvel. Um, it's not an Ave Avengers one, but he technically is an honorary Avenger. Maybe you'll know who I'm talking about. Uh, but it is Spider-Man, and here is a larger image of this picture, if I can find them. as you can see, it goes all the way around. It's very decorative, these boxes. And this, so this one is also a Camelot's Dots. And you'll know because it shows it down here. Um, this one is, I'm get, this is, I'm guessing this is the same price as the Captain America one. Um, if it is different, I will put the price up here. But if you don't see the price up there, then that means it is the same price as the one for Captain America and again this is one that Jim paid for and he didn't give me the receipt so I had him look for them and he couldn't find them but we'll know how much I paid here in a little bit when I finish this video and I can look up the prices so it looks like a B there's gonna be a white a B and other than that I'm not sure We'll find out in just a second. But that is, I'm guessing, going to be the web. And there's quite a bit there. Still, it's only one bag. But this is a little smaller than, like, Batman. Yeah, I think it's about the same size as Captain America. Yeah. It does say, let's see, 
50 by 61 fabric size design area 42 by 53 um what was captain america he is 42 by 53 yes same was that the same i forgot already 42 by 53 yep same so this also has 20 colors 1ab which is the white so yeah uh all of these webs it's not all ab but ab is mixed in it's like in the center of it and it goes like around the outline of this but there's a light blue it looks like that goes through the center but the bottom and the top are two to or the bottom is ab and a little bit towards in the middle but it's mixed in with other colors it's not just ab for the web which makes sense because it's i don't know i think it probably would have looked cool with it all ab especially if they would have done the eyes but the eyes are not drilled at all and mo all of this background is not drilled it's really cool though because it looks like a comic book back there that looks really awesome and then we have um so his entire body is what's drilled it does show you here which parts as usual so you can see which area is drilled and this one's called web slinger copyright marvel and there's all that information, the 20 colors, and I just made all my receipts fall. Uh, but they do use the symbols that they use. They do have some pretty, um, they're basic symbols, but they're also just more than letters and numbers. I like it when I can see a symbol and say, oh, okay, that's the moon, and that's the lowercase a percent sign, a box, an X, a right arrow. I don't like it when they get into symbols that I just don't have a name for, like that one, that very top one. I don't know what to call it. A half circle with a line, but that's too big of a, a name to think up, especially when I'm trying to find it. I, I do it over my head over and over again until I can find it, and then I'm like, okay, there it is. It, it's just a process I go through, and it makes it so much easier when it's all letters and numbers yeah that's the simplest way you can do it and that's the way I prefer it but it's not gonna make it where I don't purchase something just because the symbols are wonky um, some of the you the European symbols that they use I like it's it's fun to, to um, do those because they have like a um, telephone booth and they have the Oh, I can't even remember what they are now, but they're the, the thumbs up. Those are really cool to work with. I like those too. But anyway, here is Spider-Man. I actually like this one. It is very confetti too, but um, I'm glad Jim's doing this one and not me. <laughs> but, but I do think it's really well done. I mean, it looks very, very similar to Spider-Man. And with that background, it's just perfect. So... Once these are done, I'm sure they're going to go up on the wall in our room. I'm wondering if Jim will actually have more time to diamond paint than I do. We will see about that. So I don't need to pull these out. You can see the AB, the 1AB color is right there. It's just a bunch of oranges and reds and grays. And a little bit of peach in there. Where does that peach go? That's interesting. 8336. That is the slash oh so it's part of the web the okay because oh that's cool they make it where the web that's in front of his costume you can actually see through so it's kind of a peachy color of the web here because it would be what you would see from this side of it and mixed with the red coming from his costume it makes it a peachish color that is really interesting how they charted that that is just awesome all right, so that is the last one that Jim chose. Did I, I say choose? No, I said chose. <laughs> um, the next one I picked out, and I will be doing myself, and I'm sure some of you out there will want it as well. 
well, I know one particular person who will love it because I actually have a cover minder that would be perfect to be used while they are doing this particular diamond painting. And it's my only one from this next franchise chain, but is still owned by Disney. And I'll grab it here in one second. And this one, I do know for a fact I paid, it was $25 and I paid $12.50 for it because of our coupon. So it's a Star Wars and ta-da, we got Chewbacca and we've got a fruit fly hanging around for some reason. So yeah, Tina, I know this is up your alley. Um, here is what the image looks like from the website, if I can find it. And let's dig in, since this is the last one. I know this video ended up being way longer than I thought it would be. That's why I was trying to talk fast at first, but seeing that I could not get it all done within one clip, um, I figured I might as well just talk normal instead of trying to speed talk through everything because it wasn't gonna happen making this a quick video. Oh, why is this not opening? It's like they didn't know how to box these up because some of them are like folded over really weird up here. And the, these were actually in the back. She brought them out at the second store for a store that was closing in three minutes. They really went out of their way to help us. Um, oh, okay. So this is actually quite a bit smaller. Uh, that means that the other ones that I was telling you about, Captain America and Spider-Man, those are probably more than 1250 because this is a lot smaller than that. Those two are. I'm guessing they are probably a 30, 30, 30 to 35, maybe even 40. They could be the same price as Batman. Um, Hey, but who cares? I probably already have it on the screen and I was totally wrong thinking that they were going to be the same price as this one. But, um, what was I saying? I showed you a picture. If I found it, there we go. Uh, information. Uh, let's find out the information on the canvas. Yeah, this is all, like half the size of those. So that was a big wrong guess I made. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is cool. Look at that. It's got the comic in the background. I didn't know that was actually part of the diamond painting. Now, Chewy, arg, arg, or however he, I can't do it. So it's actually got a comic. That one won't stop us. Wow, that is really cool. So there's not a lot to diamond paint on this one, uh, considering it looks like about half of it is... Um, just background that's not drilled. So we've got a lot of loose uh, cover paper here. It does have 16 colors though. And uh, we've gone back to it being on the side, sideways. Uh, the colors are, they made it, I think they did it this way because they made it where the actual spot with the symbol, the grid sign is bigger, more legible. You can read it better. Maybe that's why they did it. But this one also is very confetti because there's a lot of color changes going on in, in Chewbacca's hair or his fur, I should say. But here is the canvas area and then the diamond area. So it actually, without the background on it, it makes him look really squat. It makes him look so small. But... It, so his mouth and his eyes aren't done either. So this one, it's copyright and trademark Lucasfilms Limited. And this box actually does say Disney on it. You can see it right here. And that's what it shows on the Disney boxes as well. The frozen ones that I have and um, 
the Cinderella and the Minnie Mouse. I have a lot of the Disney ones, but this is the first one to actually show that it is owned by Disney. I'm a little disappointed that um, it looks like they missed the bottom. On the bottom here, you can see it's like an entire uh, line was missed. But, you know, it's not too bad because that'll just be part of the frame, the area that goes around the frame or that is hidden by the frame. So, I mean, it's not too bad. It's not a major, major part of it, but it does kind of make it look like the whole thing is off by just a tad bit because over here you can see it's going off it's above the item instead of on top of it right here right there so it just it's made it where it's off by just a tad bit it's above the line instead of below it so right in here you can see where the white is and it goes it looks like it's actually right on down there but part of the black goes into the white no that's how it's supposed to be okay so it's not so bad it's not as bad as I thought it would have been really bad had that made it where it pushed everything up or down maybe they just never charted that last line and but it shows it over here on the sides as well at least on this side where it's got an edge it's not like that over on this side on the left side it goes all the way to the edge of his face but see on this side there's another gap between the painting and the where the glue stops so it's not too bad i mean like i said it's a small diamond painting it's 16 colors and what did we say it's okay I didn't say the fabric size is 34 and a half by 48 and a half and the design is only 26 and a half by 40 but I want to measure this because uh, that could be 40 centimeters it just doesn't seem like it okay so if we take the furthest spot which would be right there to here we've got uh, 26 which what that, that says it says 26 and a half but what they're doing is they're measuring this area here the entire part even if it's not drilled it says diamond area it says design size so the design is the whole thing here it's not just where you're drilling so the actual place spots the size of the area that you're going to be drilling is about 25 and a half centimeters. Um, and it's not perfectly squared or perfectly all the way to the edge because of the fact that you have, it's not filled in. It's not a full square. It is a, an odd shape. Um, and then we've got about 29 centimeters going this direction. So 29 by 25 and a half or 24 and a half. What was it? Gosh, I don't remember. I'm really bad at that. Um, no, we said 25 and a half. So 25 and a half centimeters by 29 is how much you drill. But then you minus the mouth and the eyes and all of this section right here. So, well, I didn't count. Yeah, I did because it goes all the way to here. But still 1250 that's all I paid for it because it was half off. I would not pay $25 for this. That's... Uh, definite I would not pay full price I'm having to add this in because I already finished my video and then I realized I didn't show you guys the drills so I interrupted the main part of this video to tell you where we have ABs because we do have one AB and it's the plus sign it's white and you can see it um, right here on the corner there aren't very many there's just a few in the bag so it's the plus sign and it's the only place that there is white on this entire thing that you diamond paint is here in his um, shoulder thingy where he keeps his, I don't know what he keeps, ammo, his Wookiee treats, I don't know. Uh, but there are, the ABs are just the outline here, down there a little bit here, um, one here, a couple here, 
there, 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 and over here on this part, that the white that you see here, and then just the outline portions there. So that's it for the ABs on this one. His nose could have used a little AB. I think that would have been cute. But no, it's just the regular um, white color or grayish, bluish white color. He's not very colorful, but he's a Wookiee. You know, what can you, what do you, you can't expect a whole lot from a brown haired Wookiee. Um, probably would have liked to have put some blue eyes on him. Maybe I will stick some drills on there myself. Mm, we'll have to see. All right, guys, that's it for my interruption. I will send you back to the main video. So it is always good to watch for your coupons, uh, take a friend, buy, you know, bring several coupons. I get coupons at two different emails because I didn't realize I was signed up on one, but I do, I get two different emails. I get, um, the website has a coupon available. The app has a coupon available. They might be the same one. I don't know. And I also get texts. So I joined their text club or whatever it is. And I get mailers. Sometimes I get them in the mail. I get actual physical coupons. So you can get a lot of 50% off coupons. You can use as many as you have in the store. I don't know about online, but it, you're not limited to just one. Like Michael's, you're only limited to one of each type. Like you only can have a 50% off um, one item full price item. And then you can have like a 20% off your entire purchase. You can only use those two at Michael's. Um, that's what's different about Joann's is you can have five different 50% off coupons and you can use each one of those for a different item in one purchase. That's what I love about Joann's is they're okay with you saving money. And I, I have, I've saved a lot of money over my years with purchasing with Joann's, especially, you know, when I was buying yarn and fabric and now diamond paintings, now that they have them in the store, I will probably be going back to Joann's more often because I haven't gone there in a long time because, you know, since I've done diamond paintings really, because they didn't carry diamond paintings in store. Now they do. So yeah, I'm going to be there more often. I can tell you that. Um, now I just wish I could diamond paint faster <laughs> because there's so many I want to do. And so I end up starting them. I have like seven or eight of them started. I have one I'm about to finish and I have another one that's about to finish, you know, so, <laughs> but it's like, as soon as I'm getting ready to finish one, I want to start the next one before I'm finished with it. Do you do that? Or is that just me? All right, guys. Well, that was the end of my diamond dots haul. My next video um, coming up after this one, it might be, it might come the same day later in the day. It might come the next day, but it will be shortly after this video posts all about the freestyle and the things that I purchased for that to show you what they have. Um, so let me know if any of these diamond paintings I just showed today interest you, which one was your favorite? I know there are a lot of comic book and Star Wars stuff, and, you know, just things, Harry Potter, you know, there's a lot of different options here, different categories, um, the Crystal Skull was the only one that wasn't part of the, um, Camelot Dots, uh, diamond paintings that they have come out with, but they have a Darth Vader as well, it was not out at the first store, which it said it was in stock, so I may go back and get it, um, Jim has to go into town, so I might buy it and have him pick it up in store. The, But that was the one I really wanted. And this was actually in the back. So was all of the Spider-Man, Captain America, and Batman were in the back as well. And she brought those out, and we just purchased one of each. And I was surprised because Jim said, well, take one of all of them. And I'm like, oh, okay. Because that's the first time I've actually seen him say, we're buying these diamond paintings. So whoever said that he wasn't a diamond painter, <laughs> you'll see. We'll see what he comes up with and when he starts and if he actually gets something finished. Um, if you want to try something fun, leave me a message down below on bets on how long it'll take for him to actually start on his diamond painting. And then once he does start it, how long do you think it will take him to do it? He does have a lot of time during the day and he plays a lot of video games. So it's not like he doesn't have time to diamond paint. He does. It's just a matter of 
when he'll start it. And after he does start it, if he'll keep going, if he'll put it off or just him and haw about it. So put your, place your bets down below how much, how long you think it'll take him to finish his Captain America and also how long it'll get, take for him to start. Cause I'm going to kid it up as soon as I'm done with this video, I will be kidding it up. So let me know down below what you think. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button and tell me which one of these was your favorite. I will see you guys in my next video. Have fun diamond painting and don't forget to always sparkle wherever you go and whatever you do. Take care everyone. Bye.